Uh, Hayden, I don't think socks are an ingredient on the sandwich you sent me. Oh, that's where they went. I'm sorry, Marmar. I'm not allowed to use the stove, and I'm not that good with sandwiches. That's okay, Hayden. You just need some lessons. Hooray! That's it. Explore. Let's teach Hayden how to cook with no stove. Really? Of course, Hayden. Yay! We'll get your skill level up in no time, and you'll be cooking like a pro. <laughs> but first, it sounds like we gotta go to the Marmarland Cookbook. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. Three at-home snacks you can make without a stove. Come on, explorers, let's get cooking! All right, explorers, let me introduce you to our first recipe, the appetizer. Snails and worms. Oh, gross. Snails and worms? Delicious. Come on, guys, Marmar's making snacks. Sorry, Mr. Fish, they're not real snails or worms. Oh, man, what a bust. These little guys are what I like to call snack crafts. They're cool, but they also taste delicious. For ingredients, we have apples, cucumbers, celery, blueberries, tomatoes, ranch, peanut butter, and eyeball sprinkles. <laughs> So to start, we're going to take out pre-cut celery for the base. This is going to be the bottom of the worm. Not you, worm. Go on, get Anyways, next we have to decide if we want something sweet or salty. All right, what do you think? Ranch or peanut butter? Ooh, I want some of that peanut butter. Oh, okay. All right, peanut butter it is. So then, you're gonna take your plastic knife and spread some of the peanut butter into the celery stick, like this. Now we have to choose our toppings. Hmm, well, we used peanut butter, so we better use some of our fruit. I'm gonna go with blueberries. Lay the blueberries out on the back side of the celery stick and top it off with one grape. That'll be the head of our worm. <laughs> Lastly, you're gonna take two of your eyeball sprinkles. Take the sprinkles and dip them in the peanut butter to get them sticky. Now just place them on the grape and done! A delicious, wormy snack. Hooray! All right, Hayden, try it out. Mm. Who in the worms could taste so good? Yes, it's working! Come on, Explorers, let's keep cooking! Explorers, did you know you can make pizza without baking it? And no, we're not going to be eating raw dough, but we are going to be making DIY pizza lunchables with faces. <laughs> this is going to be so delicious. Mamma mia. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> but wait, Marmar, why can't we just use an oven? Explorers, it's super important not to use an oven without an adult. It may seem like it's no big deal, but ovens can be really dangerous. They can get up to over 500 degrees. That's hot enough to catch grease on fire and definitely hot enough to burn you. Let me tell you guys, burns hurt. So to avoid boo-boos, we always want an adult present when using an oven. That way we can practice safe cooking. Dangerous. Let's get started. All right, first up are our ingredients. You're going to need a flour tortilla, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and a circle cookie cutter. To start, you're gonna take your tortilla and cookie cutter and cut out little circles. This is gonna be the crust of our pizza. Ah, Mr. Worm, go, go, on, go on, get out of here. Once you cut your crust, you're going to take one and we're going to sauce it. Just pour the sauce directly into the center and spread it to the edges. What do you think is next, Explorers? That's right, cheese! Just sprinkle your mozzarella on and feel free to get real fancy with it. Ooh, cheesy goodness. <laughs> wow, you're a full-blown Italian chef now. Alright, we've come to the creme de la creme, the pepperoni. 
And if you don't like pepperoni, you can even do things like mushrooms or even more cheese. I'm gonna use pepperoni and olives to make a smiley face. <laughs> Hooray! Hayden, what do you think of the pizza? Holy bazoli, that looks so good. Ah! Hey, my pizza. No, hey, 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 go on now. Hayden, what do you think of the pizza? Oh my goodness, Explorers, you have to try this at home. Huh, I wonder who's calling me. Hey, Marmar, I'd like to order two large cheese pizzas, one pepperoni and olive, and one pizza with just tomato sauce. Gagoosh, the pizzas aren't for sale, but you can make your own at home. Oh, well, that's good to know. I guess I don't need all these coupons. <gasps> Explorers, it looks like we only need one more thing to make Hayden a cooking pro. It's time for dessert. <laughs> oh, a little warning next time. <sighs> okay, for dessert, we're making rice cake owls. Mmm. It's ingredient time. For rice cake owls, you'll need peanut butter, rice cakes, a banana, some blueberries, Cheerios, and a sliced apple and carrot. First, take one of your rice cakes and smear some peanut butter on it. This gives the owl its color and makes sure everything stays on. Next, we're gonna take two of our apple slices and stick them on each side of the owl, like this. Okay, time for the feathers. Well, Cheerios. Take your Cheerios and place them on the lower half of your rice cake to make them a little feather pattern. Perfect, now we're going to make banana slices and because bananas are soft, we can use our hands. Once we have two slices, we're going to place them on top of the owl here. Then plop two blueberries on top of the bananas. And look at that, eyeballs. Look at those eyeballs, ooh. Whew. These are banana eyeballs, not sprinkle eyeballs. Silly worm. All right, last thing. This little guy needs a nose. Take a chunk of carrot and place it right under the bananas. Ta-da, a perfect owl. Ah, <sighs> the perfect rice cake owl. How'd yours turn out, Hayden? Wow, mine is almost too pretty to eat. Oh. Well, almost. Ding, 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 explorers, we did it. Hayden is a cooking pro. That's great, Hayden. Explorers, learning to make snacks by yourself is really, really cool and helps us grow into better chefs and also helps our parents. But remember, never use the oven or stove alone. And I can't wait to see your recipes. Howdy, you sure are sneezing a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cloudy, I think you're getting sick. Sick? I don't want to catch it. What are you going to do? It's okay, Explorers. I've got five tips to help us avoid getting sick. You better get to those tips fast before Cloudy destroys home base. Let's go! Open up the magic door. It's time to explore. Good thing I brought my industrial sized bottle of antibacterial spray. Hayden and Ayush are afraid of getting sick. Uh -huh. we are. I hate being sick. Plus, it's really getting in the way of our playtime. Then we better get started with our first tip for not getting sick. Wash your hands and often. My hands are already 
Daddy clean. Yeah, mine are too. You might not be able to see it, but your hands are covered in itty bitty germs. Since we can't see it, let's use slime. This slime represents all the germs that are hiding on the palm of your hand. Think about all the things we touch throughout the day, like doorknobs. Gross! Books. Ew! I just finished reading that. Money. Not my candy money. Slime. <laughs> so when you touch stuff, you pick up those germs? Exactly, Cloudy. So you might not be able to see it, but your hands are covered in super tiny germs. High five. No thanks. You should wash your hands, Marmar. We all should because that was tip number one. Tip number two, make sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds. If you don't have a clock, how will you know if it has been 20 seconds? Good question, Ayush. Let's think of some things that take 20 seconds to do. Singing the Marmarland theme song? Nice, Hayden. Or you can count your teeth with your tongue. One, two, three, four. Hmm, I wonder what else takes 20 seconds. It takes 20 seconds for a koala to climb up a giraffe's neck and give it a hug. It takes 20 seconds for a fish to do back-to-back backflips and then give Ayush a high five. It takes 20 seconds to lose a game of hopscotch to a frog. Although, I think a frog has a serious advantage. Oh, here's a good one. It takes 20 seconds to sing the happy birthday song twice. <laughs> Who knew 20 seconds can be so fun? Hurry, I have to feel better. Tip number three, to avoid getting sick, make sure to get enough vitamin C. And the best and most delicious way to do that is orange juice. Delicious and crazy. Here are some other great sources of vitamin C. Grapefruit, mm. kiwi fruit, red peppers, spicy. broccoli, tomato juice, cantaloupe, strawberries. Mm. Those all sound so delicious. Maybe this will make me feel better. Ow! Sorry. Tip number four, make sure to cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze. Imagine this squirt bottle is my sneeze. If I don't cover my mouth, ah, ooh, ooh. I would have gotten my germs all over you. Or, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Ew, 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 ew. A little help here, quickly. Phew, that's better. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to grab a tissue. This sneeze came on too fast. It's okay, Cloudy. Maybe next time, try a sneeze dab. They're perfect for sneezes that sneak up on you. Oh. Come on, everybody. Let's do the sneeze dab. Achoo! 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 What else do I need to know to make sure I don't get everyone else sick? <coughs> one last tip, and I don't think you're gonna like this one, Cloudy, because tip number five, when you're feeling sick, it's best to stay home and get lots of rest, even if you have to miss out on playtime. But, but, I wanna play. We can always play again later, but if everyone gets sick, no one will be able to play. We can all play again together when you're feeling better. Promise? Peaky promise. Yeah, we all promise. Before Cloudy heads home to rest, maybe we should learn about what makes us sick so we can all avoid it.
Explorers, this is my friend, Dr. Germ. He's small, but very smart. He's going to tell us what happens inside our bodies when we get sick. When you're feeling sick, it's usually due to some bad hombres named virus and bacteria. Virus and bacteria are extremely small. So small, in fact, you can't see them with your naked eye. Whoa, that's super tiny, just like you, Dr. Germ. They might be small, but they can have a huge impact on your health. Virus and bacteria can hang out in places you would never suspect. And if you touch one of these places, you may have some unwanted hitchhikers. Once these two are in your body, they can cause some serious problems, but no need to panic. Your body produces white blood cells, which are pros at putting virus and bacteria in their place. You can help white blood cells capture virus and bacteria by taking medicine and getting plenty of rest. The sooner that happens, the sooner you'll be able to get back to playing. Cloudy, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Playtime wasn't the same without you. Yeah, we missed you. I missed you too, but Mar Mar was right. I needed to stay home and rest. Come play with us. I know it's hard to miss out on fun activities, but you won't get any better if you don't take time to rest. Plus, not spreading germs is a super cool thing to do. Oh no, time to use the sneeze now! I do! Oh. oh, looks like I've gotten sick. I'm gonna lay down till I feel better, and I'll see you in a couple days, Explorers. Now backwards! Tyrannosaurus Rex style! <laughs> Take five! Ah, who knew backyard gym class could be so exhausting? Break's over! Hey, no way that was five minutes, Bubbles. You're right! But it was five seconds, kangaroo style! Okay. It's so great to be back in school, even if it's virtual. I made this sweet painting in our class. In science class, we made a potato battery. That's why school is so amazing. It activates your scientific and creative brain. But Marmar, with online learning, how are we going to do gym class? That's my favorite class. Ah, don't worry, Ayush. Just like our mind, our body's got to be active too. That's why I'm going to do seven gym class challenges, homeschool edition. This one is an easy one, jumping jacks. They look like this. All right, let's see who could do the most in 20 seconds. 20 seconds on the clock. Get ready, set, and... Shooting hoops can be fun, but have you ever heard of head hoops? All you need is a plastic ball and a plastic bowl. Make sure your bowl is made out of plastic. Because glass can break. All right guys, all you're gonna have to do is hold the bowl on your head, toss the ball, and try to catch it. Like that. All right, first to catch three balls wins. Here we go. Looks 
like Hayden is the winner! <laughs> Hooray! Since we can't play kickball right now, let's play kickball bowling! Hmm? Place your cups in a triangle on the ground. Now we'll kick the ball at the cups. Whoever knocks over the most cups wins. Everybody ready? Explorers, we've got four more challenges left. Ayush, you want to explain the next one? Balloon volleyball. You have to keep the balloon in the air for as long as you can. Oh, and here's the catch. You can't use your hand. You can what? use your head, your knees, or even your toes. Let's see who can keep in the balloon in the air the longest. <laughs> you guys were great. Ah, what can I say? I knows how to play. <laughs> nice one, Marmar. Now it's time for a little ping pong shootout. Using a waste basket, you have to sink the ball into the basket. When a player makes the shot, every other player has to make the same exact shot. Ready, Explorers? Let's play! get started, make sure to clear the area around you. You don't want to accidentally knock anything over. Oops! Better move over a little. That's better. For this next challenge, all you have to do is catch the ball. But it's a lot harder than you think when you play busy ball. Place your forehead on one end of the bat and put the other end on the ground. Spin around the bat three times. Now, try to catch the ball. Oh well, maybe you can do it better than I can. All right, explorers, remember, you only want to spin around the bat three times. Any more than that can make you whoa, too dizzy. Everyone ready? Explorers, this is the last challenge, the dance challenge, and Hayden is going to teach us some sweet, sweet dance moves. Let's go. All right, here's how to do it. Put your right arm up and jump to the side, and then do that to the other side, and then swing your arm across while stepping to the side. And then do that to the other side, and swing your arm across
so much fun and exhausting. How do you feel, explorers? It's really important that we activate our mind and our bodies. That's right, Marmar. Who said that? I did. Hey, you're my heart. That's right. And I wanted to thank you for exercising. Because when you do, I get healthier. Really? How? I'll show you. Take a deep breath, Marmar. When you exercise, your lungs take in more oxygen. The more oxygen I take in, the more I could send to your heart with the help of red blood cells. We pick up the oxygen and ride the circulatory system to the heart. Then I take the oxygen and the red blood cells and I pump it out to the rest of your body, giving energy to your brain. I feel smarter already. Or your muscles. I feel even stronger. Oh, this is awesome. It sure is, Marmar. When you exercise and you activate your heart and lungs, you're making your whole body healthier. Want to give it a try? Let's go. Here comes more oxygen. Whoa, who knew by just doing a couple of jumping jacks, I'm activating my brain, heart, lungs, and muscles. That's so cool. Remember, explorers, just because you can't go to gym class doesn't mean you can't stay active. Hey, explorers, we're not supposed to touch our faces. So I put paint on my hands to remind myself not to touch my face. Yay! Oh, no. My nose is itchy. Oh. Oh no, I just touched my face. Oh no, I just did it again. Explorers, we need a better way to remind myself not to touch my face. Oh. Hey, Cloudy, what's up? Marmar, you got something on your hands. I know, it's all over my hands because I'm not supposed to be touching my face. <laughs> but I think we need a different idea. Why aren't we allowed to touch our faces? So germs can't get inside of us. Germs and viruses like COVID-19 can live for a while on the surfaces that we touch every day. <gasps> so if you touch a surface that the virus is on, the virus can get on your hand. Oh no! No, don't do it. Don't touch your faces. Germs and viruses get into our body through our eyes, noses, and mouths. So if we don't touch our faces with unclean hands, the virus won't have a way inside us. Bye, viruses. You got it. And that's why it's important to not touch our faces and to wash our hands all the time. Ah, it's really hard to remember not to touch my face, so I'm trying to come up with tricks to remember. Cloudy, do you have any tricks? Well, I never touch my face. <laughs> but let me think. Hmm. Cloudy, you're touching your face right now. Ah, I didn't even realize. How often do I touch my face without even knowing it? This is a disaster. Cloudy, Cloudy, it's okay. Calm down. Maybe our friends will have some tips. Hey, Gagoosh. Hey, Marmar. Cloudy and I can't stop touching our faces. Do you have any tips that could help? I used to bite my nails all the time. That is until I started giving myself pretty manicures. Ooh la la. When my nails are all pretty with nice stuff on them, I don't want to ruin them with my teeth. Oh, that's a great idea, Gagoosh. Pretty manicures will remind us to keep our hands out of our mouths and away from our faces. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Smile day! That was relaxing. And I have this neat, cool manicure to remind myself not to touch my face. I don't think a manicure will work for me, Marmar. I don't have nails. That's A-OK, -okay, Cloudy. We'll find something else. Hey, Marmar! Oh, 
Ooh, I love your nails. Thanks, Bubbles. I painted them to remind myself not to touch my face. <laughs> Do you have any ideas to remember that? Hmm. Well, my bracelet reminds me of my address and phone number. Maybe you could make bracelets that remind you not to touch your face. That's a great idea, Bubbles. Bracelets are close to our hands, so every time we see it, it will remind us not to touch our face. <laughs> Explorers, here's my favorite way to make a bracelet. If you have beads and string or elastic at home, you can use those. Tie a knot at one end of the string to keep the beads from slipping right off. Make sure you leave enough string on the other end to tie the bracelet off when it's done and start adding your beads. You can use any type of bead in any color pattern you want. Once you think your bracelet is long enough, try testing it by wrapping it around your wrist. You don't want it too tight or too loose. Mine is big enough, so I'm gonna tie the two ends together. And done! A beautiful, easy to make bracelet to remind me to keep my hands away from my face. That's a pretty bracelet, Marmar. Hey, la, la. What if I can't find that stuff in Marmar Land? You can use any kind of string, yarn, or scrunchies, or even rubber bands. Any of those things work as a reminder not to touch your face. Hey, Yush. Hey, Aiden. What's up? We wanted to show you something. We made temporary tattoos. This way, when we see them, we'll remember to... Not touch your faces. Wow, Cloudy, how do you know what we were going to say? I've been learning all about it. How'd you guys do that? I'll show you. First, print whatever picture you want on some paper. I chose pictures of my friends because I miss them. Then, carefully cut them out. Make sure to ask for help from someone older if you need it. Then, spray the picture with perfume, body spray, or hairspray. Make sure to spray them a ton and then to cover the whole picture. Next, put your pictures face down in a bowl of hot water. Remember to ask for help heating the water. Let the picture soak for five minutes. After five minutes, put some more spray where you want the tattoo. Then carefully place the picture down where you sprayed. Press the picture down with a warm rag for another three minutes. Okay, carefully peel the paper off your skin and done! A beautiful tattoo that will come off in a few days and remind you not to touch your face. Check it out, Hayden and Ayush, we match! <laughs> Explorers, I know it's hard to keep your hands away from your face. You probably touch your face without even realizing it. I know I do. So all we can really do is keep trying and washing our hands. I hope these tips today help you out and I'll see you next time. Bye, Explorers! Catch you soon!